Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm talking about something that's important for everyone no matter your age or income. Making financial mistakes can happen to anyone but the good news is that by being aware of them you can take steps to avoid them and improve your financial future. In this video we'll be looking at five of the biggest financial mistakes people tend to make in the UK and I'll share some tips on how to steer clear of them. Number one, living beyond your means. We're bombarded with messages to spend, 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 and it can be tempting to keep up with the Joneses. But if you're regularly spending more than you earn, you're setting yourself up for debt and financial problems down the line. Living beyond your means is a universal problem and understanding its nuances can help you to avoid it. Here's a deeper look at the psychology behind overspending. We're constantly bombarded with messages that equate happiness and success with material possessions. This creates a desire to keep up with unrealistic portrayals, even if it means overspending. Comparing ourselves to others, especially those with a seemingly lavish lifestyle, can fuel feelings of inadequacy and the desire to keep up. This can lead to unnecessary spending to maintain a specific image. The ease of credit card purchases and online shopping creates a culture of instant gratification, making it tempting to buy things we don't necessarily need or can't afford. It also helps to understand the consequences of overspending. The most immediate consequence is accumulating debt, which comes with high interest rates and can snowball out of control. This can lead to financial stress. The constant worry about debt repayments can take a toll on mental and emotional well-being. Debt can hinder your ability to save for important goals like a house or retirement, limiting your future possibilities. And overspending in debt can negatively impact your credit score, making it harder to access loans and credit cards with favourable terms in the future. So how can you avoid living beyond your means? Gaining awareness of your spending habits is crucial. Use budgeting apps or simply track your income and expenses in a notebook for a month. This will help you identify areas where you can cut back. Develop a budget that allocates your income towards essential needs such as rent, utilities and groceries, debt repayments, savings and some discretionary spending. Prioritise necessities and be realistic about your wants versus needs. Before making a purchase, especially a large one, ask yourself, do I need this or do I just want it? Implement a waiting period to cool down and avoid impulsive decisions. Look for free or low cost ways to fulfill your desires. Visit the library instead of buying books and explore free hobbies like hiking or cooking or find affordable entertainment options. Remind yourself of your long-term financial goals such as retirement or buying a house. Visualize the future you're working towards and how overspending could hinder your progress. Remember, living a fulfilling life doesn't require keeping up with unrealistic standards. By being mindful of your spending habits, prioritising needs over wants and setting clear financial goals, you can avoid the pitfalls of living beyond your means and build a secure financial future. Mistake number two, not having an emergency fund. Life throws curveballs and having an emergency fund can be your financial safety net during unexpected events. Knowing you have a financial cushion to handle unexpected expenses reduces stress and anxiety. You can face challenges with a calmer mind knowing you have options. Unexpected events can lead to relying on high interest credit cards or loans, which can trap you in a cycle of debt. An emergency fund allows you to tackle these situations without accumulating debt. Emergencies can disrupt your budget and financial goals. An emergency fund helps you to maintain your financial stability by covering unexpected costs without derailing your progress towards long-term goals. The ideal emergency fund amount depends on your individual circumstances. A good starting point is three to six months of living expenses. This ensures you're covered for a wider range of potential emergencies. However, consider these factors when determining your target amount. If you have dependents, you may need a larger emergency fund to cover their needs as well. If your job is stable with a low risk of layoffs, you might feel comfortable with a smaller emergency fund. If you have high healthcare costs due to pre-existing conditions, you might need a larger emergency fund to account for potential medical bills. The best way to build up an emergency fund is to start small. Even if you can't save a significant amount initially, begin with a small achievable contribution. Gradually increase the amount as your financial situation allows. Set up automatic transfers from your bank account to your savings account. This ensures consistent saving and removes the temptation to spend some money. As your income or expenses change, reassess your emergency fund goals and adjust your savings plan accordingly. Remember, building an emergency fund is a marathon, not a sprint. Be patient, stay consistent with your contributions and celebrate your progress towards financial security. Mistake number three, ignoring your pension. In the UK, the state pension provides a baseline level of income for retirees, but it's often not enough to maintain your pre-retirement standard of living. This is where a private pension comes in and neglecting it can have significant consequences. The state pension alone might not be enough to cover your basic needs in retirement, let alone maintain your desired lifestyle. You might have to significantly adjust your spending habits after retirement. 
In addition, life expectancy is increasing, meaning you'll likely be in retirement for longer. A robust pension helps ensure you have sufficient income throughout your golden years. A private pension supplements the state pension, providing you with a more comfortable retirement lifestyle. Contributions to a pension scheme benefit from tax relief, essentially reducing the amount you pay in tax. This makes saving for retirement more attractive. And starting a pension early allows your contributions to grow through compound interest. The longer your money is invested, the greater the potential return. Without a sufficient retirement income, you might face financial difficulties in your later years. This can lead to stress, a lower quality of life and dependence on others. A limited retirement income can restrict your choices and activities. You might have to forego travel, hobbies or even supporting your loved ones. You might be forced to continue working longer than you planned to financially sustain yourself. This can postpone your retirement plans and limit your ability to enjoy your golden years. The earlier you start contributing to a pension, the more time your savings have to grow through compound interest. Even small, consistent contributions can accumulate significantly over time. Consider increasing your contributions as your income increases. A financial advisor can help you assess your retirement needs, choose the right pension scheme and develop a personalised retirement plan. Don't let your pension become an afterthought. By taking proactive steps today, you can secure a comfortable and financially independent retirement future. Mistake number four, not having the right insurance. Having the right insurance in place can protect you from financial hardship in the event of an accident, illness or other unforeseen circumstances. Insurance acts as a safety net protecting you from unforeseen events that could cause significant financial hardship. However, with various types and complexities, navigating the insurance landscape can be overwhelming. Let's delve deeper into understanding the importance of having the right insurance. Unexpected events like accidents, illness or even death can incur significant costs. Insurance helps cover those expenses, preventing you or your family from having to deplete your savings or go into debt. Knowing you have adequate insurance coverage provides peace of mind, allowing you to focus on recovery or rebuilding without the added stress of financial burden. Certain insurances, like life insurance, can provide financial support to your loved ones in the event of your passing away, ensuring their well-being. The right insurance depends on your individual circumstances, needs and risk tolerance. Here are some key factors to consider. Your hobbies, work and living situation all influence your insurance requirements. Owning a home or car necessitates specific insurance coverage to protect them from damage or loss. If you have dependents, consider life insurance to safeguard their financial security in your absence. Determine how much you can comfortably afford for insurance premiums. Your insurance needs evolve throughout your life. Regularly review your existing coverage and consider life changes. Getting married, having children or buying a house might necessitate adjustments to your insurance coverage, your financial situation. As your income increases, you might be able to afford a higher level of cover. Market changes. New insurance products or revised policies might better suit your current needs. Remember, consulting a qualified financial advisor can provide valuable guidance and ensure you have the right insurance coverage in place for a secure future. Mistake number five, not getting financial advice. Managing your finances, especially in today's complex world, can be quite daunting. There are countless investment options, ever-changing market trends and intricate financial decisions to navigate. This is where seeking professional financial advice can be immensely beneficial. Some of the benefits of working with a financial advisor include personalised financial plan. A financial advisor takes your unique financial situation, goals and risk tolerance into account to create a personalised plan. This includes budgeting, saving, investing and retirement planning strategies tailored to your specific needs. Financial advisors possess in-depth knowledge of financial products on the market. They can analyse your options, assess potential risks and rewards and guide you towards making informed investment decisions aligned with your goals. With their expertise, financial advisors can help you navigate complex financial strategies and make sound decisions that contribute to your long-term financial security, including building wealth, preparing for retirement and protecting your assets. Financial advisors offer an objective perspective free from emotions, which can cloud your judgment when making financial decisions. Additionally, they hold you accountable for your financial plan, keeping you on track towards your goals. While financial advisor services come at a cost, the value they provide often outweighs the expense. Consider it an investment in your financial well-being and future security. It's important to do your research and ask for recommendations to find someone who aligns with your needs and personality. Anyone looking to improve their financial situation can benefit from seeking professional advice. This includes young adults. Starting early with financial planning sets the foundation for a secure future. Advisors can help manage multiple assets and investment goals. Advisors can guide you through financial decisions related to retirement, buying a house or starting a family. Seeking financial advice is not a sign of weakness or inadequacy. 
It's a proactive step towards taking control of your finances and achieving your financial goals with the guidance of an experienced professional. As you know, I'm an independent financial advisor myself and I can help you with all the areas detailed in this video, so get in touch today. By avoiding these common financial mistakes, you can take control of your finances and build a brighter financial future. Remember, it's never too late to start making positive changes. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more personal finance tips.